projection, projection of your sound. What I'm talking about is making your sound reach where you want it to. Uh, at first you might think, well, I'm blowing into the room, it's going into the room. It's not that simple. There's a lot more to it about making your sound really, really reach where you want it to. And it's not just about blowing hard either. There's another concept here. Um, if I wanted to yell, you know what I do, of course, I look at who I'm yelling at, right? You know, if I said to you, say something to me, and you're standing as far away as you are, you'd probably talk like I am. But if I got you to run 50 metres away and said, now tell me something, you would just naturally start to yell. If I said, make it 100, you'd yell louder, because you're looking at who you're speaking to. When I play in a room, I actually take into account the size of the room and where I want my sound to go. You might go, well, gee, what do you do in a really big room? You just blow harder and harder. You'll end up just blasting all the time. No. What if I said to you now, whisper me something? And you come up to someone's ear and you whisper quietly. But what if I said, whisper something to me, but don't come any closer? Think about it. You ever been in a situation where you want to tell someone something, but you don't want them to hear, but you want that person to hear? You go, hey. Because you can whisper very softly, like this. I don't even know if you could hear me then. But if I whisper loudly, it sounds like a contradiction, doesn't it? But it's not. I'm going to project my whisper and I go, listen, I don't want them to know. But listen to what I'm saying. It's a loud whisper. We can do that. You can play softly, but project your soft sound. So again, I'm not talking about how loud you play here. I'm talking about how much you project your sound and who it reaches. You know, it's actually possible to play quite loud and not project your sound. Um, it's more likely, though, that you'll play soft and not project it. So how do you do this? The first thing is the concept, is to know where you're playing to. Like I said, have a look at who you're playing to, how far away are they, and try and reach them. What do you do when you whisper loudly? Think about it. If you feel what you do with your body, try it right now. Whisper something loudly at me. Um, what actually you do is you support more with the air. It's that same thing I've said again. You actually put some energy into the air. Try that when you're playing, but don't play loud loudly. And what you'll hear is a projected soft sound. Now rather than thinking technically about what you're doing, because I'm never in favour of that, like I said, just be mindful of where you're playing to. Another thing to think about is the instrument. Or rather not to think about it. Because what we tend to do is blow into the trumpet. Almost like it's a receptacle without an opening at the other end. You know, you blow into the trumpet. I've even heard people say, blow into the trumpet. Hmm. We blow through the trumpet. Okay, it's a one small word different, but it makes a big difference to how you think and how you feel when you play. When I stand on stage and I play to you, it's me playing to you, and then I just put the trumpet between you and I, and the sound has to get through it. Now, we know actually I'm creating the sound in the trumpet with my buzzing lips, and the you know, buzzing lips don't sound like a trumpet. But nonetheless, the air that I start, the energy that I start, goes through the trumpet and reaches you at the back of the room, okay, not into the trumpet. What physically happens different when you think this way is not something we need to get involved in. I'm not even sure I understand it. But I do know for a fact that if I have in mind that I'm blowing through the trumpet to you, rather than into my trumpet while I face you, the way the sound projects is vastly different. And all I know that's happening different with me is the amount of energy that I send your way is far greater. Okay, projection is very important. We're talking about a lot of things in this tutorial. You're going to get great articulation and range and all these fabulous things. What a waste if when you do it softly, no one at the back of the room can hear it.